Hey, it's Andre from the High Performance Academy, and we're here at SEMA at AEM Electronics Stand, and I've got Lawson here to talk about their new AEM Infinity ECU. So Lawson, thanks for joining us, and, and first of all, the AEM Infinity, uh, there's some big steps forward over your existing Series 2 ECUs. Can you just give us some of the key benefits or key features over the existing Series 2? Well, um, you know, from a feature standpoint, it, it does uh, quite a few things, and Really, the Series 2 is a, is a powerful unit, and um, it's been around for quite a while now, and um, it's developed, but we've really taken it to the point where um, we're not able to do a whole lot of a whole lot further growth with it. Um, and, and that's really where the Infinity comes in, is, is um, it's, you know, the, the latest hardware um, architecture, you know, um, printed circuit board technology with uh, quad flat no lead components in a fully sealed enclosure uh, with motorsports connectors that are waterproof and dust proof. So, you know, from a hardware standpoint, it's considerably more robust than our Series 2 unit was and, or is. And um, then when you combine it with its processing power, you know, it, it's um, incredibly power. I mean, it does 400 million instructions per second, which is, uh, you know, that's, that's a lot of MIPS. And that gives it the ability to run a lot of things simultaneously, do it quickly and efficiently. Um, another difference in it, uh, which is really neither good nor bad, um, is that it uses a VE-based tuning model, whereas our Series 2 was, uh, you know, injector pulse width based. So, um, you know, it, I'm sorry. I, I just, I'll just talk a little bit about that uh, VE or volumetric efficiency based tuning. Um, that, that's common on a few ECUs, but I still see most ECUs out there on the market are using uh, millisecond pulse width based programming. Um, tell us why AM have gone to the VE based model. Well, um, it's what the OEMs use for one, and uh, you know there, there's a reason for that. And really, when you when you look at it from an efficiency standpoint, not only in engine but in in tuning efficiency, um, you know, having knowing what the airflow of your engine is, um, and and having a powerful algorithm behind that to you know to then drive the fuel, it, it allows you to set up a lot quicker, it allows you to start up a lot quicker. You know, we hear time and again uh, with our Infinity ECUs from tuners who are like, wow, you know, I um, set a general, generic, a relatively generic number in, in the VE table, um, you know, relative to, you know, setting up what the engine parameters were, and it fired right up. You know, you're not going to take a full rip on the dyno like that, but it certainly gets you started. And once you get started, as you know, with as anybody who's done pulse with tuning knows, that can be one of the most challenging parts is is you know defining those tables and getting the engine to start the first time. So, get you out of the box right away, and uh, you know from there, once you've defined that VE table. Um, which doesn't take that long, relatively speaking, it allows you to go in and really fine tune all of the other elements of the system and the goals that you have for the vehicle, you know, for boost and traction and, um, you know, nitrous and, and, and all of the things that are, you know, all the ancillary elements to your engine that are going to help you make power and be more successful on the track. And, um, and so those are some of the key advantages to V in a nutshell. There's a lot more, but, but really at the end of the day, yeah. you know, those are, those are the ones that matter to the tuner and that are ultimately going to matter to the, you know, to the guy who's paying for that tune because that's less time spent. So with the VE tuning, basically we're getting a, a much more accurate uh, model of the airflow through the engine that's going to make the tuning quicker and more accurate. And another advantage that I know from other issues I've tuned on VE, if you make a change to your injector size for instance, means you don't have to go back and redo the whole map, correct? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You just go in and you change that in a table, and you're done. And and the, you know the program does the rest of it. You don't have to change it. Really, short of changing the actual airflow of the engine, once you've established a really you know a really accurate VE table, you don't have to touch it again. Any other changes that you make is is a quick change in in a in a setup wizard, and you're back in business. Okay, let's talk a bit about the other features and, and before we came on camera you told me um, you've got in there dual drive by wire and you're now doing quad cam control, that's correct? Yes, the Infinity is able to control up to four cams, variable cam. Uh, in fact, that's uh, we just released our, um, in, our 
Nissan 350Z Infinity G35 plug and play ECU, which of course has you know four variable cams, so we control it on that. Uh, it has that capability in general. Um, it does dual drive by wire, um, and which is nice. Like for instance, on our uh, plug and play system for the BMW uh, uh, E46 M3 or S54 swap car, um, you know, be, with having the dual drive by wire, you're able to go in and actually build multiple profiles so you can have a profile for a rain map and you know and then something for all out aggressive driving as well um, it does uh, you know the infinity comes in in multiple iterations we call it the infinity 8 the 10 and the 12 for 8 10 and 12 cylinder we're introducing the infinity 6 which is a little smaller box with a 90 pin connector and uh, that also in that housing will have an infinity 8h which is uh, which will control v8 engines with with high impedance injectors it sounds like you're going to have something for just about everyone now with the modern cars becoming so much more complicated, obviously you've dealt with that with the Infinity and you're, you're bringing out these plug and play models. Uh, you've mentioned the E46 and the 350Z. So you can you can make the, the Infinity into a plug and play or it can be purchased as a standalone ECU? That's correct. Uh, we're expanding our plug and play applications considerably. Uh, Excuse me. We're expanding our plug and play applications considerably. Uh, that's one of our goals, and uh, we're continuing to do so. And we're able to really integrate some cool features because of, um, you know, the modern, uh, the modernity of a vehicle can sometimes be a hindrance. Other times, it can be a blessing. Uh, you know, the E46 M3 is arguably uh, one of the more sought-after, highly popular tuner vehicles, and. Um, and it utilizes a pretty sophisticated CAN bus system from BMW. We've been able to take advantage of that and actually incorporate several features through our plug and play system. So we've taken over the CAN for the cruise control and you can now do map switching of up to eight maps, uh, you know, multiple mix and match maps between, you know, V, Lambda, Boost, uh, you know, several different features. We can control traction control through the uh, through the cruise control buttons, three step and the sport mode button on the center console, you can switch your drive by wire profiles. So you can do all that without having to wire in any ancillary switches all through our plug and play system. For our non plug and play applications, we have um, we're developing and we'll be rolling out throughout the course of next year um, a, a pretty neat, for lack of a better term, uh, wiring solution. So. We have a core universal style harness for the Infinity plug and play, and we're going to be developing uh, modular pieces for it so that you'll be able to more easily adapt it onto GM and Ford engines, and we'll actually be developing a full layover harness for LS applications. Oh, it sounds like you've really got uh, everything thought out and there's some exciting innovations in the future for AEM. So I look forward to seeing how the Infinity goes once I actually get a chance to, to tune one myself. Look, um, there's a lot of people around ready to talk to you, Lawson, so thank you very much for taking the time to chat to us. Well, my pleasure. Thanks for coming by. I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do with our Infinity ECU. No problem. For online tuning courses, visit learntotune.com.